Yo, 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 what's up? This your boy, M. Breezy, back at it again, man, like I always do around this time. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Cowboy Nation? Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. When I look at the purity of this game and the purity of it, that you held the number one offense in the National Football League to 19 points. You did. All game. Yep. All game. One touchdown. You, you, one touchdown. One touchdown. Yeah. Five Field goal. Okay. One touchdown, five field goals. You held Tyreek Hill to 99 yards. You did. You Take Jalen it. Waddle, that was a great play by Jalen Waddle, but it's it was. the only reception that was it, he, he had yep. all day. I can't touch that defense. Okay. I don't even want to hear it. I can't bother that defense. That defense did what it did. This defense average giving up 22 points on the road. Now, Come on, you're the number two offense. You're putting up 40-some points at home. You can't put up 24 points, 25 points on the road. That's straight on that offense. That's all. All I thought about that first play when 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 Tony Pollard got tackled on the goal line, I don't know how you can be a Cowboy fan and not think Zeke would have broken that dude's arm trying to tackle him there. Probably would have. The, the, the dude bicep would have fallen off. Zeke would have ran right through his hand, right through his arm. That's why I always talk about this hammer. Now, you're right on getting on Mike McCarthy. You, 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 you know, now you're trying to trick people because you made a bad decision and you don't have a hammer down here and, and, and we fumble the football. It's just, come on, I needed something out of this offense. When we talk about Philadelphia, when, 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 when they got thrown yesterday, Jalen Hurts had to make some plays and he made yeah. those plays to get that team right down the field mm -hmm. and score a touchdown. And I, I know Dak made those plays to take us down the field and score a touchdown, but I needed more out of that offense yesterday. Yeah. You're going up against the number one offense and that defense did its job. We're yeah. going to win. If you're going to win, it's got to be out of that offense. I need more out of them. They went dead for a dead time, for, for a good little moment in that game. Just dead, like you said, Skip, at the beginning. They looked so great early on. They came right back down that second drive and said, let's go get that touchdown. I said, oh, my God, this oh my is God. what I'm talking about. Yep. Now they are ready to show people, and then uh. what? It was nothing. Once once they went away from 88, we went to nobody else can make a play out nobody here, and the play. thing looked bad. It, 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 it just looked bad. I still put all of this on that offense. you got to give me more than that. M Michael, you uh, hey, man, I just got to say this, man, because, you know, as Cowboy fans, you know, we got the fan base is somewhat kind of split, and you know, about this team, because some some fans are quite sick, sick of the Cowboys doing the same old things over and over and over again and getting the same results. But then again, you got some fans out there that love that we're just being a regular team, just making the playoffs or being one and done, uh, uh, you know, or just at least have a winning record. And and and, I, and it all boils down to Dak Prescott, man. The, the, the quarterback on this team, the one, the one elephant in the room is the quarterback, Dak Prescott. Uh, this is the man that made this team go. To be real, man, the quarterback is what it is in the NFL. It's a quarterback-driven league. And but some of you guys, man, you know, uh, down in the comment section, man, you know, some Cowboy fans that you guys just because you don't like someone's opinion, you you got to you got to try to make it seem like nobody don't know what the hell they're talking about. Uh, we don't watch football, uh, all this, that, and the third. But what make, makes your opinion so relevant? What makes you right? Saying people don't know football, uh, people don't, people don't watch watch the game because they don't agree with what you say about Dak Prescott. There's a lot of Cowboy fans out there that think Dak Prescott is not the guy to get the job done. And some of you guys are be in your feelings about that and get mad and, and come say some of the craziest things. Outlandish things, uh, 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 uh you, you can say, but but the words don't bother me because you know what I'm saying. Because I'm a truth teller, like, it is it just is what it is with me. And uh, some of you guys begin to act like LeBron James fanboys because every time this that Prescott, uh, uh the Cowboy lose, you guys got to say it's not that Prescott fault. You got to throw blame everywhere else. That's 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 what been going on LeBron James whole career. Every year LeBron James fails, he needs more help, or it was not his fault. And that Prescott fan base is. Some of his fanboys are turning to the same fans that LeBron James have. And it's very obvious. Now, you know me. I tell you how I feel about Dak Prescott. And to this day, I, I feel the same way. Dak Prescott gonna win some games. 
That Prescott going to keep the Cowboys 500 or above 500. But is, really, is that Prescott going to take the Cowboys to where they need, they need to go, which is the Super Bowl? Well, hell, he can't even get, get into the championship game. To the championship game. But you guys seem to be all right with this. See, see, see the, the thing is, I believe some of you guys are afraid to start over. To start over. Some of you guys are afraid to go out and get another quarterback to come in here, uh, uh, try to run this team, and try to better this team, and try to take this team far as they can go because we had the talent to do so. And the salary cap is coming up, man. You can't keep you can't keep all the good guys on the team for a long period of time. You, to me, you're wasting talent. You're wasting talent. And Jerry Jones can go on the radio all he wants to and say that that he think that press guy is playing the best football you ever seen in his career. All this that, and the third. But if that is so, Jerry Jones, go ahead and sign that press guy right now. Go ahead and give Dak Prescott a $60 million a year deal because that's what it's going to boss down to at the, at the end of the year because the price is only going to go up. So if you think that Dak Prescott is playing this such football and you've never seen him play like this before in his, his whole career, pay the man his money. Pay the man his money and see what they get you, Jerry Jones. But see, Jerry Jones just love blowing smoke because Jerry Jones loves the attention. And he knows the big game this week, Saturday night, is coming up. And Jerry, uh, Jimmy Johnson is going into the ring of honor, and we got to play the D- Detroit Lions. Now, if you think the Detroit Lions are coming to him, just going to lay down because Jimmy, John- Jimmy Johnson is going into the ring of honor, you got another thing coming. Because Detroit, no matter how up and down they are, because all the, the hey, the way it is these days, the whole NFL is down, up and down. One week you're looking good, one week you're not looking good. Look at the 49ers, the way they got beat uh, uh, Christmas night. Brock Purdy had four turnovers. Now, all of a sudden, this Brock Purdy is out of the MVP race. You see? One week you be you could be good, and one week you you be bad. That just, that just is what it is. But uh, I don't think that Prescott can take us to where we need to go. That's just my opinion, man. And, that, and another guy, a lot of guys uh, feel like that. Uh, the way I feel, you can you can see it down there in the comment section when I put videos out. There are a couple of guys that's in there that, that's in there that feel the same way that I do. And, it, and there's nothing wrong with wanting to see your team do better. But some of you guys are stuck on that Prescott. You're so infatuated with this guy. I don't I don't know what it is. Uh, but this guy's not gonna get you anywhere, man. And it's, it's been it's, it's been proven over the years, every year. And look at this year, the same old thing. They're coming back to haunt us again. At, at the end of the season last year, we, we got beat beat down by the Washington uh, uh, or Commanders last year. But we beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers the first game in the playoff, and everybody thought we was gone. This is gonna be the year. And what happened? Play the 49ers, the bullet ball. We play the 49ers, the bullet ball team. What happened? Like, if you get physical with the Dallas Cowboys, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna, you can beat him. You got a run game, you're gonna beat him. If you can get the Dak Prescott early and hit him, you're gonna shake him up because he's, he's only on one read guy. He's only on one read quarterback. You can say all, oh, you can say yeah, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to say. And Matt McCarthy, the head coach of this football team, this guy, he, he, he he's overrated. He always have been overrated, overrated. Now you got guys like uh, James Jones on speak, and you got uh, guys, uh, uh, Greg Jennings, he's on first thing first coming on. So all of a sudden, these guys are Cowboy fans. All of a sudden, these guys are defending the Dallas Cowboys because Matt McCarthy was the coach of the Packers when they won a Super Bowl in 2011 when they beat Pittsburgh here in Arlington. But all of a sudden, you guys make, making up all the exclusive for Dak Prescott. I, can you believe it? Can you actually believe that? But we already know what it is. It's, it's, it's because they want to see Matt McCarthy win. That's all that is. But Matt McCarthy is not going to... He cannot lead this team nowhere along with Dak Prescott. Along with Dak Prescott. And if Dak Prescott would have such this an elite quarterback... And Matt McCarthy sending these, these bad plays in. Why won't Dak Prescott change the plays? Because they swear to God that this Dak Prescott team, this is Dak Prescott team 100% this is a test coast offense. So why won't Dak Prescott change these plays if, if he know they're not going to work? If CeeDee Lamb is the man to make this offense go, why do Dak Prescott go away from CeeDee Lamb in, most of the, uh, in the biggest moments of the game? It don't make no sense to me. Now I'm beginning to think that Dak Prescott is, is like I said, he already can't read defenses, so I don't, I don't think he's smart enough to process the plays that fail because you can easily fool Dak Prescott. If you show Dak Prescott one thing and, and before the play happens and you move a couple of men around, put them in motion, defensive players I'm talking about, you can throw Dak Prescott off. You can throw him off because Dak Prescott, he knows where he's going to go with the football. And if you, mess, if you can fool him with that, you got him. He's lost, man. He's and you guys see it. And you guys see it, but you want to keep on protecting Dak Prescott. You get, uh, it's one, it's one of the YouTube uh, content creators out here, man. He just, he's so effective with Dak Prescott, to, it, it'll make no sense. But now, guess what? We don't allow two straight, and Dak Prescott looking like a fool. Now he's out here looking like a fool, trying to go out and dig out, dig up or anything somebody says about Dak Prescott that is not Dak Prescott's fault. It's that in the third. I mean, come on, my lord. 
Man, that's what I was saying. You guys get on here. You, you talk too much about that press guy. This guy, this guy, he is what he is. He does the same thing every year. He's going to fool you through the course of a year like, oh, that press got to change. That press got doing this, that, and third. Uh, Man, Dak Prescott does this against teams that are average. And then we blow him up like he, he's, he's the next big thing, the Detroit Aitman, the Roger Starbag, or uh, uh, any. Man, shit, he, to me, he's not better than Tony Romo. He might, he might have all those stats up there, but that don't, that don't mean nothing to me because Tony Romo ran the, hell, ran the hell out of this team with less talent. With less talent. With less talent. I'm going to say it to the Cowboys come home. If Romo had the same team that Dak Prescott got, we would at least won about two Super Bowls by now. We probably would have been about four, four NFC Championship games. That's just me speaking from the way I see things. So I, I, look, I go by the eyes. You got to like throw, throw these stats up there. These stats don't mean shit at the end of the season when your ass home on the couch. Watching the rest of the postseason happen when you thought you were supposed to be there. When you should have been there. The defense, the defense played a hell of a game. The defense played a hell of a game. Hell of a game. Now, the last game against the 49ers the defense, that was a bad game. Because the last two uh, uh, playoff games, we played the 49ers defense here their own. And they had their own against the uh Miami Dolphins, a uh, uh, Sunday, they kicked five field goals. What do you want them to do? But then you all, but first thing you guys say, Dak Prescott made had an MVP MVP drive to put the Cowboys up with three minutes to go in the game to win the game. But hell, it took a whole game to do that. Then you left too much time on the clock. You left too much time on the clock. Your coaching and your quarterback together, these, these, these two guys, both of them are lost. They 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 have the time they don't know, they don't know what's going on they don't they don't know what's going on and when the pressure amounts to, to them they they can't handle it and you see it and you and you can see it but you got one but you got want to come on here and protect mediocrity that press guy is a mediocre mediocre quarterback he has his good moments against these teams like I said that has no defense has no pass rush has no secondary but some of you faces a team that get physical got line, got demons in line can put pressure on you and have some sort of a, a secondary, you can get that press guy. It's just it what it is, man. And, 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 and I, I, I'm a Cowboy fan. And, and look, you can, you can call me what you want to call me because it don't bother me. I speak the truth, man. I, it just is what it is. And, now, and, and look, would I be surprised if the Cowboy lose to the Detroit Lions Saturday night? I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked because that's who we are. We, we, we won what 15, 16 straight home games, and Detroit Lions has a chance to be uh, still be the, the number one seed. Just say, just say the 49 lose to the to the Rams of the last game of the season. Just say the Giants lose. Giants beat the Eagles. Just say, just, uh, just hey, so we, hey, we seen it in the last game of the season. It's gonna be the last game of the season. Everybody gonna play hardest because that's their last game until the next year, especially for the Giants. But I think the Rams are gonna be make the playoffs. So, 49 better watch out, and the Eagles better watch out because the Giants could have had them, them guys uh, uh, Monday, Monday evening, Christmas Day. Now, Tyrod Taylor might be the quarterback starting the whole game, so it might be a different ball game. And they're in New York. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So don't come in here taking Detroit lightly because D- Detroit is a physical team. They, they can run smash mouth football, and they put pressure on the quarterback. They will hit. They will hit. They run a game with, Gib- with uh, uh, Gibbs and Montgomery. You got Amara Ross, St. Brown. You got Williams, the wide receivers out there. Hey, man, the Jones guy, along with uh, uh, Jerry Goff. Just because the Bears beat Detroit, just because the Vikings beat Detroit, just because Green Bay beat Detroit, don't, you can't come to taking these boys lightly because we are the Dallas Cowboys. And to every team that plays us, more than likely that be their Super Bowl. That's when they're going to play their hardest. Okay. Now, I don't understand why we can't get hyped like that. Why can't we get hyped? Where is our leader? That person is supposed to be just a big leader guy. When these guys get out on the field, when these guys screws up, when you see that person got arguing at these guys, when you see Prescott guy in these guys' face being vocal, but they know he knows not because he's not a leader. I'm telling you why he's not a leader because he know at any time he's gonna be the reason why they lose a game, and the guy knows it. So I'm just, uh, hey, that's just the way I see it, man. That's just the way I see it. And I'm keep on saying, uh, keep on calling it the way I see it. You can get mad, you can call what you want to call me. You can say I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't watch film. Uh, uh, I'm just a Dyke Prescott hater. But man, look at him tell you something. We haven't got nowhere with Dyke Prescott. You guys need to stop being afraid to start over and find another quarterback that can come in here. And lead this team to where we need to go at, man. Because it, we're gonna we're gonna be just the way we are. And more than likely, I'm afraid to say it, but we might sign that press guy. And Jerry Jones signed this guy to another deal. You got you got to pay City Lamb. You got to pay Michael Parsons. And you're gonna be some more guys coming up on the payroll that want to get paid. Man, come on. Well, I mean, be re, be real with yourself. Do you guys just want to be a regular? Do you guys just want to be a mediocre team? Do you guys just want to make the playoffs and be one and done? Or either uh, uh, 
done in the first game, first round of the playoff. Because you can't take Tampa Bay Buccaneers too lightly. I'm telling you, you cannot. We're going to be a fifth seed. We're pretty much locked in to be a fifth seed. If we can lose the rest of these games straight, we can be in, in season 10 and 7. Because the team that are under us, we beat the Rams and we beat the uh, CLC Hawks. We beat both of those guys. If they end the season with the same amount of losses that we have, we still the fifth seed. We're locked in. So more than likely, it's something really bad got to happen for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to lose these last two games, which I don't see them losing. But anything can happen. You can't go down to Tampa thinking you're going gonna to be a cakewalk because we are a horrible team on the road. On the road. And you guys keep coming in. You keep uh, 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 trying to defend Dak Prescott. Wagging your little tail. Get on the front of your knees and bobbing your head in front of Dak Prescott. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Yes, I'm a Cowboy fan. Yes, I speak my mind. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. Any other Cowboy fans out there that feel the same way I feel. And they see what I see. And they're going to speak their mind. But you guys get mad and say, we don't know football because we don't like Dak Prescott. We don't think that that press guy can take us to where we need to go at. And a lot of these guys on here on this in this media knows it. They knows it. But one thing I can say, a lot of times, most people don't know what the Cowboys are going to do. Because the Cowboys are a tricky team. They'll fool you one minute, they'll be up here. The next week, they'll be down here. So you really don't know what to expect from the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, it, 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 it just is what it is. Like I said, that press guy is one of the biggest front runners in the NFL. He's, a, he's just like I said, he's a, just like LeBron James. He's a big front runner. As long as you got that lead, boy, he's gonna front run. He's gonna pat them stats. He's gonna do whatever do. He, he's gonna do whatever he can to make himself look good, like he like like he, it's all about him. But boy, when that team get behind, and the game get tight. Oh man, it's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different ball game. And you guys see it, but you want you don't want to say it because I get you scared. Of, you scared of the fan base down here, but that's Cowboys about on your comment section. You scared of your subscribers. Like I said, man, none, none of that don't worry me. That don't bother me because I'm going to have to tell the truth about my team. Yes, I'm a Cowboy fan and I can call it how I see it and I can say what the hell I want to say. If you don't like it, skadoodle. Get the hell on. Scram. Scat. I don't need you anyway. Especially when you're telling a lie you're not telling the truth. You're not telling the truth. And if you think that is Cowboy is going to go on the road for three games in a row and win, go to the Super Bowl or make it to the Super Bowl, and if you do get to, if you do get to the Super Bowl, that's another home, that's another a road game. So that'd be four games. You expect the Dallas Cowboys to win four games on the road to win the Super Bowl? I believe it when I see it. I will believe it when I see it. And I hope I'm wrong, boy. Please let me be wrong. Boy, I haven't been wrong about this team in a long time, a very long time. Hey, whatever you may think, it hurt me to my heart to say it. It do, it do, man. Because I'm, I'm a, I've been a fan for forty-seven years. Forty-seven years, fifty-three years old, man. Hey. I might not look like it at times, but hey, it is what it is, man. You, know, you keep yourself up. I stopped stressing about the Cowboys a long time ago. Stop stressing, but blood, keep a blood pressure down, worry about the Dallas Cowboys. Because I want to win. And one thing about me, I'm not afraid to start over. We need to get another quarterback in here so we can look. We're wasting talent, man. Valuable talent on this team is being wasted, which is Dallas Cowboy quarterback, Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott is a good quarterback, but Dak Prescott is not going to get you where you need to go. He cannot get you over that hump. Dak Prescott cannot carry a team. This team was built around Dak Prescott. And he still cannot get the job done. And you, all you guys want to do is make excuses for Dak Prescott. Make excuses for Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott, gonna get, Dak Prescott has gotten a, a plethora of receivers and coaches fired since he's been the quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. Fire. But, but hey, he never speaks up for anybody. He never speaks up for anybody. He don't. But everybody want to come to the defense of Dak Prescott. But Dak Prescott is not getting the job done, man. We got one day we're gonna see it. Uh, 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 when it's gonna, be, it's gonna be too late, then I, I, I'm not gonna want to hear it. We need to get a quarterback where well, we got some quarterbacks on the sideline backing up Dak Prescott, but they don't want to put him in because they overpaid for Dak Prescott. Now you fanboys out there thinking that Dak Prescott is some kind of god, uh, 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 some kind of this, this elite quarterback, and, and just parade lead the Dallas Cowboys to, to the championship game every year, every year. He was clearly three weeks ago this man was a front runner for the MVP. Now he's not even being thought of. So what did that tell you, man? What did that tell you? And a lot of you guys out there are butt hurt. You are butt hurt. You are butt hurt. You can make a ball as exclusive the world you want to. But guess what? The playoffs coming. The playoffs coming. And we need to get to the Super Bowl. The Dallas Cowboys need to get to the Super Bowl with Dak Prescott as your quarterback. And Dak Prescott need to be the reason why. As you guys say so. 
You say this guy is the leader of this team. You say this guy is MVP worthy. That's what you say. That's what you say. Dak Prescott need to be the reason why. The defense doing their job. The defense is doing their job. Now, now every, every now and then, the defense is going to give. That's every defense in the NFL. Look at the look at Fortnite defense uh, other night. <laughs> they are one of the top defense in the league. In the league. But they can break two. Baltimore Ravens, they lost three games. They, they, got, they got a good defense, but they can break two. Everybody can break. But when your offense keep going three and out, three and out, three and out, you're going to get tired. And then guess what's going to happen? The players are going to start getting down, and they're going to quit. Against Buffalo, against Miami Dolphins, pretty much the defense did. Hey, those guys quit. You can say what you want to say. You can say what you want to say, but did you hear Dak Prescott trying to lift these guys up? No, you didn't, because it's all about Dak Prescott. He cannot move that ball when it's time to, and it's short. But anyway, man, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Uh, uh, leave a comment down below, man. And tell me what you think about this game coming up Saturday night. And uh, I'm proud to see Jerry Jones, uh, putting Jerry, Jimmy Johnson in the ring of honor because it, it's about time. It's about time. I don't know Jimmy. I don't know Jerry Jones think that's going to bring good luck to this team. Uh, 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 it might put a, a, a pep in their step Friday, a Saturday night. But who knows what, what to expect from the Dallas Cowboys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you guys think. Until next time, it's your boy Breezy, and I'm out. Hello. Uh...